Welcome back to Computer Games, and it's time for a Light and Dark Guild War. Yes, we're battling VRK Gangster, one of the top Asian guilds with the most Light and Dark monsters. Now, we're checking out their defenses, and we're seeing... Yeah, Giannas, Zeratus, Mollies, more Mollies. Well, what we're looking for are, oh wow, that's a Martina, together with an Iris. Yep, definitely light and dark monsters almost everywhere, but let's look for the best of the best light. Wow, Leona. Man, I mean, hello, big brother touch. Okay, we got one right here. That's an Artamiel Yon Hong. Oh man, to get how how did he even get double archangels? I mean How do you even get that man? How lucky are you? Well for this Artamiel team we're going to bring in our Jolton. Okay? Here's Jolton with the energy revenge. And of course, artifacts. <laughs> yep, we're gonna use the HP lead. And of course, here's our Triana. All right. And of course, our Perna. Man, I still can't believe, uh, I mean, that. That, those are like dream monsters. This Artamiel here has this judge passive, of course. All the while, this Yon Hong with that charge vitality is just gonna be so OP. And then you have this Wunsa with this inhale magic that actually strips. Okay, and then for the second round, we're going to bring in our Bulwark, Emilia, and Mo Long. <laughs> I don't even know why I, can't, I keep saying Skogo. This is that. That team is just so OP. <laughs> okay, and of course, our Emilia. I put her on Swift. It's just that, you know, for guild content, I put more violent runes around different monsters. But to make sure that we don't do much HP damage to our Molo, we're going to bring in the Vampire one. We're going to bring it against this Fermion, who's going to give that Gianna extra tankiness. Right? I'm not really afraid of this Gianna here because she has been nerfed right reusable in seven turns although remember every time she puts that fate of destruction she does get another turn right and of course this molly that was also nerfed now uh, heals the allies with 20% HP okay without further ado let's go do it it's going to be crazy I mean I don't have these OP LND monsters but these are our Dream monsters. Now I'm expecting, of course, this Artamiel to keep hitting onto our um, Jolton. All the while, we do have defense break and heal block from Jolton. That's gonna make us better, right? Especially to prevent them from healing. Of course, Violent procs off the bat. That our time is gonna be on a despair build, so I'm going to start working on this Yon Hong. I'm gonna wake up my Perna and Perna, can you kill? No kill. Okay now. And of course, with the Jolton, that's a plus 40,000 HP Jolton, kills the Yon Hong. Okay, look at that damage onto that. Uh, our Tamiya, the reflected damage from our Jultan, of course, to a Jultan. Now, who to kill here? I'm gonna, I wanna kill this Spoonsa over here. Can we heal block with our Jultan? And we can finish him with our Triana. Alright, three versus one. We still have a Jultan here. We, who has heal blocks, contaminated blood passive, and of course, defense breaks. Oh, 
persisted though, but good stun. Okay, this Artamia is gonna heal on his next turn. No. Well, doesn't matter. It's already a GG, Arta. Man, that's a really nice team. I mean, Dream Monsters for sure. All right, time for the Fermion. Yep, we're all gonna get stunned. Oh, but she doesn't strip. And that's quite unfortunate for you, Gianna, because we're gonna snipe you for sure. We don't want you stripping or doing, you know, Gianna things. <laughs> okay, now this is the dangerous one, this Fermion. Who provokes every time he attacks. Yep, uh, we're just gonna wait it out and hopefully our Molong will be able to survive this. Can we stun? Nice stun. Okay, we have to heal up our Molong. 15,000. Okay, that's a good heal. Because then the Moli started attacking someone else. And that's good for our Molong. So that we can have enough HP when we do our Reckless Assault. All the while we are cycling turns here for our Emilia. Giving the knowledge to our Bulwark. And then when we're ready. Mm, yeah. We're not gonna go Reckless Assault yet. Oh, but he provokes though. Well, let's heal up anyway. I mean, we can easily get knowledge from the Emilia because every turn, Emilia provides us with the knowledge that we need. But look at the health on that Molly. Let's snipe it. <laughs> so that automatically, it's a three versus one. I mean, even if this Fermine is able to kill our Molong, yeah, we still have heals from our Bulwark and this Fermion doesn't exactly have heals. Not like the Artamiel. Oh. Oh man. So much LND. So beautiful. Okay. GG. Sir Aeor. Okay. Let's go look for more LND defenses. And when I say LND defenses. They have to be OP. Another Artamiel. I mean, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying these defenses aren't OP. It's just that, you know, the more LND, the better. How about Mr. BSR? Like this guy. Both light and dark Dragonites. <laughs> That's gonna be crazy. <laughs> How do you even get double Dragonite? Light and dark. Oh man. Okay, let's think here. Now for the first round, I'm gonna bring in our Rina here. Rina is gonna be tanking that Zingze. And yeah, we're just gonna bomb it away. It should be good, technically. Because yeah, Molly's just gonna attack anyone. She's not really gonna kill. And if the defense break goes to our arena, then the ragdoll would switch targets to the defense broken arena while we cycle our turns and start planting bombs. Okay. Chasun, of course, always build her with 100% resistance. And make sure she gets the turn before your Ciara so that she can provide the buff and get some of these artifacts. I mean, I just read the div notes. I mean, it's kind of sad. You know that you know you, you already maxed out your artifacts and then now they're saying oh yeah we're gonna come up with new rules on the artifacts and it will only take effect to those that you've you know you haven't even rolled and for the old artifacts that you maxed out they're just gonna be useless pretty much mainly because you already maxed them out and the rules weren't exactly that good compared to the new patch that's coming in I don't know well, I guess no farming for artifacts right now. Man. 
Now, the tricky part about this team, this Jamire Emesity bulldozer, is we haven't exactly maxed the runes on this Emesity, but you know, we're still kind of grinding some of the runes, but it should be good. I mean, the question here is of course, you'll need to what do you call it? Either snipe the Jaeger or snipe the Ophelia, right? I'm thinking we should go for the Ophelia so that, you know, um, she's able, she isn't able to put up this cry of threat. But yeah, Jaeger's going to be doing a lot of damage though. And say she's able to put that cry of threat and then... I don't know, let's play with it a little bit because this Jaeger is going to be doing a lot of damage and at the same time you have the Shazam who has the trick of light at the same time heals and a defense break on his first skill yeah well I don't know yeah let's see if this works it's going to be OP fun ladies and gentlemen yeah I'm kind of iffy about this bulldozer but to be honest I don't know let's go now 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 they're gonna go of course oh no we have the speed lead so <laughs> let's go kill the molly because molly is the healer right let's go stunner who will this ragdoll hit I don't know randomly anyone I think now can we get a yeah I'm thinking we should buff up but we don't have a bomb yet do we yeah we have a bomb this Molly is gonna put the shield and cleanse on her next turn right so let's go save the bomb oh but she doesn't use the cleanse okay now that's not kind of <laughs> I mean, yeah, well, that's a very smart AI, aren't ya? Okay, let's go continue to work on that Molly because she's the main sustain on this defense and we do have Rina tanking that Zing Zhe. Okay, I need a Valent proc. Because she's just gonna cleanse that, right? Well, maybe she won't. Of course she does. <laughs> of course she does, the smart AI. Earlier she was, yeah, she was really waiting for the bomb, wasn't she? Well, um, I don't know. Let's see. Oh, but this Zingze keeps stunning though. I mean, how am I going to be able to pull off my bomb combo if this Zingze keeps stunning? I don't know. Um, wow, she already brought so much that she kept, she already has... You know, at that point, she had two mana bubbles. A few moments later. Hmm. Good thing he isn't on destroy though. If that Zingzi was on destroy, then he would have, you know, lowered the health of the arena, making the shield thinner, easier to break through. That Molly just put the mana bubble, so we should be able to. Yeah, I'm gonna hit Zingze so that she do he doesn't stun. Let's buff up our Ciara. Can I get violent? No violent. Oh, he gets a violent, of course. And again on the Molly. Yep. Can we kill? Not enough. There goes the mana bubble. Man, this is, uh, you know, a very tanky molly, mainly because that Zingze has that HP lead, right? Well, we're gonna, yeah, kill this Zingze. Break through the shield. And... Oh, wow. Come on. That's the Valent Proc I'm talking about. Let's continue to work it up. Man, <laughs> every time he goes Balin, you know, he, he gets heals, 
Okay, just in case he puts the mana bubble on herself. And then this zing -zay. Okay, Violet procs and loses the shield. Okay, there goes. Here comes our Violent proc. Yep. We need a Violent. No Violent. On the next turn, we'll have our Bomb. I nah. <laughs> of course, he resists. Ay, ay, ay. Man, this. This VRK gangster. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> yeah, none of the monsters are on destroy, so we, we pretty much Gucci here. It's just that the RNG is really going crazy. And we have to wait for it to go on our our side. This should kill the Zingze. Ah Finally. Finally. I mean that guy was just stunning like a Stone Cold Steve Austin stunner. Alright. No shields for the Molly now. So kill it. 42,000 bomb damage, ladies and gentlemen. Definitely enough to kill a Molly. Yeah, it was just that, you know, earlier that Zing Zia just kept on stunning the Sierra. That's why we weren't able to cycle through our turns. You know, at the same time, that Molly kept on getting all those violent procs that not just healed herself, but also lowered the cooldown on that, what do you call it? Mana bubble. Boom, 61k for ya. Okay, now the question here is, of course we're gonna go marching shot and give the defense buff and the full attack bar to our bulldozer. Yeah, I mean, let's go kill the Ophelia. Cause then the Jaeger shouldn't be able to kill well, hopefully he hit. Oh man, but the defense. Wow. Ugh. I mean. Wow. Of course, the defense break from the Shazam on the first turn. Yeah, even if we kill this Jaeger, we don't have heals. Violent. No violent. Oh man. Wow, the Shazam. How many? Oh my. Kali Gulai. Oh. <laughs> he just. Wow, look at the violent frogs from Mr. VSR. Oh, wow, man. Oh, man. Well, how about this one? Wow. Oh, wow, wow, we were again. For the first round, we're going to bring in Eladriel with the water HP lead to give more HP to our Diana over here. Of course, more HP for Diana is good because that's going to give her more damage, right? And this Tian Lang though, strong energy passive, it's going to be a bit dangerous because every time they hit onto Jultan, the Tian Lang is going to absorb the attack bars of the Diana. Nonetheless, we brought in our Jultan here to tank him and the Akroma. And then, of course, since we're bringing both wind, this second awakened vigor is just gonna attack onto Jultan too. And even if they kill Jultan, we do have revives from our Eladriel. And then of course our Mei Yu Wang. Together with our Laika. And we're bringing in our Halfas here to tank these dark monsters. That Ziratu and that Gianna. They're gonna be getting sustained from this molly so yeah let's go see of course you're going to hit onto our 
Ugh. Should we put shields? Mm. Yeah, I'm thinking who to kill first here. But let's go kill this Tian Lang. Kill? Oh yeah, more Valent procs, come on. Give daddy more Valent procs. Oh wow. Well, there goes Jotan. Archangel's Mercy with, of course, the buff, the soul protection. Okay, good job, Jewel Tan. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you haven't built your second awakened Jewel Tan, you better build him. Now, with that defense break on the bigger, can we kill it? Wow, well, we kind of missed one crit there, that's why. Uh, but nonetheless. Yep, heal block and defense break again. Oh, well, let's go work on the bigger. Mhm. Mm wow, two turns every turn, huh? Take stun. Okay, there you go. Finally, some violent procs on our side. Let's go bring that Jotan back. And then, yeah, pretty much a 3 versus 1. Let's go kill this Okroma. A very beautiful Okroma, by the way. I mean, in Arena, that Okroma is just so OP. You know what I'm saying? It's just so OP. Of course, I want a Okroma who doesn't want one. But more of an Arta. I'm looking for Artamiel, just Artamiel or like a Ragdoll, and I'd be happy. Okay, here come the dark monsters who's going to hit onto our Halfas. We brought in Laika because Laika doesn't glance, right? And we didn't bring any buffs. Now let's go kill this Gianna. Nice, one Laika. And of course, we do have our, uh, whatchamacallit, Halfas here. Tank this Ziratu. And whatever it is. Zirato does. We'll have to. Yeah, I'm thinking kill the Molly first, right? Because we do have half us tanking the Zirato. However, we need a defense break. Ah! Of course, resisted. Yeah, it's dangerous if Molly is able to strip that invincibility on our half us, then he wouldn't be able to heal. So we need to kill this Molly. Come on now. Uh. Okay. Yep, keep tanking. If you're gonna, if you're gonna be building your Halfas, make sure you build him slow. You know, very slow. As a matter of fact, if you can put like zero speed, that would be really good. You know, at the same time, put in a lot of HP and high resistance. Yeah, it's more for him resisting strips on his shield. I mean, it doesn't matter if he gets stunned or anything. As long as, you know, you, he doesn't, uh, what, get blocked beneficial effects debuff or like heal block or like stripped. Because then that's going to be very dangerous for him. And yeah, without the invincibility, it's going to be a useless tank. Oh, man, but this Molly is so tanky. Yeah, I'm wondering if it's... Well, definitely fast, I would say. Yeah, I don't want to kill the Zirato. It's just that I wanted to lower the health of the Zirato so that the Molly will put the shield on him. And then... Defense break, please. Ah! Yeah, we need a defense break so that we can like a... You know, like a kill it with justice but then yeah that slow debuff would be good I think stun still resisted 
most probably a 100 percent um what do you call it resistance molly but come on a little more molly yeah that's pretty much a gg now of course as promised we did pick the winner from our 10,000 subscriber mark contest all right and yeah congratulations to happy pill for winning um, i know there's a lot of debate over how the winner was chosen but you know yeah uh, we weren't so strict with our ter terms and conditions but you know now that we know how you feel we'll adjust the mechanics moving forward but for now let's go summon for him but first as his price yep it's what it's like d-day for the ancient transcendence pack and he still does have it over here on the left side now of course a big shout out to his guildies braveheart that's right we're going to get this ancient transcendence scroll for you brother and yeah wish us all the luck let's go do it for you there you go it's in your inbox let's go check it oh man there it is man i'm so excited for you at the same time you know i just love opening these ancient transcendence scrolls mainly because it gives you a new nb5 that you don't have yeah well before we summon we're just going to you know um farm a little bit lower the rng make sure he already checked all of the dailies and stuff you know uh we're gonna also check enough monster space find the locations of his um summer hedge okay we, we can't uh, evolve anyone for now where is the summon hedge? Okay, I think this is it. Alright, one transcendent scroll. Oh, nice. Yeah, he did give us the permission to summon his scrolls for him. Right? But, yeah, let me just clean up all the notifications here because I don't like summoning with notifications. It's just my thing. So, we'll be right back back and here we are we are ready to summon okay we got 61 mystical scrolls he wants a perna or a bastet right so okay while we're summoning here yeah again uh, from the bottom of our heart thank you to all oh, lightning okay anubis that's a common yeah thank you from the bottom of our hearts thank you for participating in our contests you know we're very happy and you know it feels good to see a lot of you participating um, yeah the mechanic was just yeah that was the mechanic most likes win the contest um, yeah pretty much uh, yeah we didn't exactly limit anything uh, when we announced um, the contest but of course uh, we are finding ways to improve it you know we're finding ways to be more fair to everyone but yeah, I, I mean, I, I'll give it to Happy Pill. You know, he really did also ask a lot of his friends to also like his post. You know, it's like over 90 posts. And we get lightning. All right. Jamire. Yeah, I believe that is new. That's a new, that's a really good 
monster definitely you can use him everywhere toa guild wars siege battles even in arena oh man such a beautiful monster and yep there you go let's see what else we can get we still have like 40 scrolls okay yeah as i was saying you know i mean it was like 90 likes on it i mean i don't think he has 90 uh, uh whatever uh what do you call it accounts um but nonetheless you know it's all good and yeah congratulations to happy pill thank you for the effort that you put in uh but at the same time thank you to everyone else for you know bringing in your entries it's just that yeah we really appreciate it and yeah the top recommendations were g army army g i really like uh that family g that's what that was good uh family g and then at the same time you also had like a g unit yeah i like the g unit that's good too but yeah well yeah we're gonna talk about it uh with baby g yeah, but definitely there can only be one baby g you know you know what i'm saying there's only one baby g is just, just the same as you know there's papa g but yeah anyway now back to the summon yeah i have a question for you guys like what's the most number of nb5 pulls you were able to witness and in how many scrolls yeah because i mean in in the different guilds that i've been in i've seen maybe someone pull three nb5s without transcendent scrolls i'm not quite sure how many scrolls they used i don't know maybe like with what i heard maybe like 30 to 50 but then that's so much rng i don't know i mean when you pull an nb5 does that necessarily mean that you know you have the gate open on your account and you should continue summoning or once you get an nb5 you know you, you, can, you just should just you know you should just like stop or something i don't know um Although, of course, I know you say that the rates are there, etc. Okay, more lightning. Yeah, QB. Good. Now that you have your Jamire, you can have a QB and a Katarina. Yep, that's a auto combo right there, man. Alright. I mean, just... <laughs> Jamire is a really good monster, but yeah, I know you do want a Bastet and a Perna, so I'm hoping to get a Bastet and a Perna for you. Um, ah, okay, well, I mean, we, we did just summon an NB5, so either way, we still do have our Transcendent Scroll, and it's good that the Jamire is new, right? If we get like a good LD monster, I'm gonna be salty. <laughs> well, I have been saving some LNDs for you know for a really good summon session, hoping to get one of those Archangels or even like a Gianna. I don't know, some good, even like a Wadam. I mean, I wouldn't mind getting a Wadam, right? Martina, definitely good too, you know. Uh, Shaina Martina Triana in guild or siege battles are really good defenses too. Okay, back to summoning. We've cleaned up his, uh, what do you call it? Monster box or, yeah, I like putting it there. I don't exactly like putting it in the new, whatchamacallit, unlimited storage. I don't know, it just eats up your summons. I don't know, but for the time being, Let's go Elemental Scrolls. Savannah, no. Even a Chumpung. How about a Perna? Perna. No Lightning. Oh man. How about a Bastet? A Bastet. <laughs> oh man. Well, okay. Light and Dark. Light and Dark. Um, let's go 
try some uh, what am I call it? Try to look for a two star for you because the lightning I mean there hasn't been any okay, let's go. No lightning. Come on. Man, yeah, these scrolls are painful to summon because these are really, really, you know, after that L and D, all those L and D monsters, L and D battles, it's just, you know, unbelievable how, how they can be so lucky. I mean, I just hope that we get as lucky as they are with summoning those light and dark monsters. I mean, some accounts don't even have a light and dark monster, you know what I'm saying? Well, anyway, yeah, let's go for the Ancient Transcendence Scroll. Can we get you a Perna or a Bastet? Okay, let's go. Okay, a Tyrannis. A really good, uh, what do you call it, a really good reviver. You know, a damage dealer, you can build him on a speed crit damage defense build. You know, he can pack a punch, especially if you put him on crit damage at the same time. You know, uh, good defense with Tyrannus would be like a, I don't know, like a Mo Long Tyrannus Harmonia or even like a, a Kumun Tyrannus, say, a Vigor, right? By the looks of it, Definitely new monsters. Yep, I don't see a Jamair and definitely Tyrannus is new because it came from the Ancient Transcendent Scroll. Alright, let's go lock those monsters. And there you have it. Again, thank you to everyone who participated in our contest and congratulations to Happy Pill for winning it. And yeah thank you for watching we hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more content stand by for the next contest yep we're gonna be preparing that for you may the force be with you we'll see you on the next one